Thanks for joining me today. Debbie Martin here, and we are back with the September edition of the Savvy Scrapbookers. Today we're going to be using the Autumn Cottage Designer Print Paper and the Autumn Cottage Stickers. Remember, you need to hop down below once you've done with this video and go see Donna and Nicole's video so you can complete all six pages. Okay, let's get started. You're gonna need the four pieces of paper pulled out of the Autumn Cottage. We're gonna need these beautiful pumpkins, this blue watercolor, your green squares, and one of the dark woods. Now these are gonna be our base paper, so for right now we're just gonna set those aside. And then we have these two. So we're gonna start by cutting our mats. And our mats are gonna be cut at five and a half. So it doesn't, this is this beautiful side of this other piece of paper, but we are cutting it at five and a half, okay? And we are only using this side, so it really doesn't matter. So the five and a half is just the edge of your trimmer, okay? And you're gonna do that one more time. Get it nice and straight. Okay, we don't need this little piece right here. We're gonna turn this and go three and a half. Three and a half. And three and a half. This is an extra little piece. There's three of our mats. We need three more. Put this in sideways at three and a half. Three and a half. And three and a half. Okay, there we go. This is a little extra piece. There's our six mats. Now we're gonna be cutting this one. We're gonna be using the 45 degree angle. So we want our pumpkins to be correctly in there. So we're gonna start by cutting this triangle off here. So we're gonna put it here on the 45 degree angle. We're gonna bring it down to four and a quarter, okay? So here's the four right here. Here's the quarter right here. We wanna make sure that it's just touching right there, the quarter and that it's straight on that line so that we get a nice straight triangle. Okay, so there's our first one. Set that one aside. Now we're gonna flip this all the way around and we're gonna do that same thing again. We're gonna make sure that it's at four and a quarter, just like that, putting it on our 45 degree angle line and cut. Okay, so now we start, we're ready to start putting our pages together. So you have your beautiful green paper on this side and we have our wood on that side. You can either do a horizontal, horizontal or vertical, whichever is best for you. I don't think it really matters. We're going to have this beautiful piece of paper coming down it right in there. Automatically gives you the two triangles we just cut out. And then this should be matching up just like that. So it looks like it flows from one side to the other. Okay, so once you get it laid out correctly, grab your adhesive and stick that down. I don't know if you've ever done this 45 degree angle method, but it is kind of fun. It gives it a different look and you're only using one piece of paper. Okay, and you just wanna make sure whatever paper you chose is that it is correctly in the trimmer so that your pictures don't turn up sideways. Okay. And we're going to bring this pumpkin right up here. Isn't this pumpkin paper just gorgeous? Credit members did a great job on this line. I absolutely love this autumn heart, uh, cottage. Okay. Make sure that's oops, not straight. So we just take that off and try again. Put it in the corner. Get it nice and straight there. There we go. Now we are ready to put our mats and our stickers on. So ultimately what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting our mats like this. So we might wanna lay them out just a little bit just so that we can see where they're gonna go. Because our next step is we have these beautiful leaves from the sticker pack that we're gonna be putting across the bottom. So we don't want our mats to come down too far. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's pull those off. And I don't know if there's really an upper bottom or a correct way for this, but I am just going to have just like that bottom leaf, pick out the longest leaf that you got, 
and just have it just touch the bottom there just like that we're going to do that one more time over here I'm here in the Midwest and we have beautiful beautiful falls um, and I know not everybody does I know Nicole and Donna both you know don't have these beautiful colors that we have so you can take this layout and use it with different paper if you don't happen to have fall because look at this this could be used for anything so could this so could this blue just don't use the pumpkins if you don't want okay let's go ahead and stick our pictures down and our mats down so now we kind of want to center these in here we want them to be somewhat somewhat symmetrical about like that so let's grab some adhesive and stick these down comment below do you have fall where you where you live i mean obviously we all have fall but do you get the change of seasons and the colors and the trees not everybody does um i'd love to know in the comments who does who doesn't i'm gonna bring this up here about like actually i think we're gonna maybe put some stickers so maybe drop this one just a little bit here and once you put those two, then this one's easy because we're just going to center it there in the opening like this. So we kind of want to keep the space the same distance, kind of in the center, just like that. And let's do this one again. So we did drop this one a little bit, so I don't know if you want to drop this one too, just so you have a nice cohesive look on it just so it's just touching the corner down here like that. Okay, do this one. Oh, we shouldn't do that one next. We're gonna do this one. And we want it to look the same as the other side, so we're kind of bringing it in the same amount, getting it straight, just like this. Once again, trying to keep it similar to that. So you can look right here. I have it just a smidge above nine or nine over here. So if I want to make sure that I'm centering that. Okay, and let's go ahead and stick my pictures down. I have some beautiful, beautiful fall pictures here. These are from last year because our trees have not started turning yet. So my grandkids are older this year. I cannot wait to go get fall pictures this this year, but our leaves just have not started turning yet. Well, I mean, there's an occasional tree that might have a little bit of yellow on it right now, but these are fun pictures. We, we love going to the pumpkin farms with the grandkids and the kids. And there's my other set of grandkids. Last year we went to Johnson's Farm and we went to Bingston's. So I got pictures from both. And then we're gonna get our stickers on here. Let's put a little extra on that one. And my pictures are three by fives, okay? Because our mats were three and a half by five and a half. And let's go ahead and grab some stickers and finish this. So I think we got a little room down here for maybe, let's just see what we've got. Pumpkin trail. How about we put that right in here? Pumpkin patch and trail. Um, I think we are going to use the little basket of pumpkins, maybe about right in here. And a little tiny pumpkin, because we do split this all up so that you can do all your pages just with one pack of paper and the sticker pack so you can get six pages done. So let's stick our little pumpkin right there. And fall days, we're gonna put here at the top. We're gonna actually start with this one, I think, and then bring this one in just like that. Fall days. And then we're gonna do up here, grab your stickers and we're gonna do food, foliage, friends, and fun. And we're just gonna kind of space these evenly apart. That looks totally crooked, so let me just pull that off. Try that again. If I line this up here. Okay, food, 
foliage and I'm gonna just leave about an eighth of an inch in between. There we go. Hope you're enjoying these pages and make sure that you're hopping over to Donna and Nicole's pages to finish. Let's grab a couple leaves. I got this beautiful leaf, leaf right here. Let's get one of these little orange leaves right there. And then let's pop, let's pop one of these. And I think that would be fun. Okay, and maybe put that one this direction. And there we go, we're done. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you go check out the other two videos and happy scrapbooking.